I'm going to have Matt record this for me because it seems almost without fail every single semester we start this project and then somebody gets sick or they're absent and then it's just like this system of me repeating myself over and over so he I volunteered to help me record this and then that way maybe you are gone a day this week uh, you can go back to the YouTube video and check it out so if you remember way back to the beginning of the semester which most of us probably don't and by the way I should go on the record by saying we have this week we have a half week next week Thanksgiving break okay then we come back to class and we really only have about two and a half full weeks left of school before we have to start reviewing and stuff for finals. Now, we do not have a final in this class. I told you guys that. We also don't have any tests in this class. I told you guys this. But we do have one project in here, and it is a pretty weedy project. So I've literally seen people who've had A's go to like D's and then on the flip side, I've also seen plenty of people with D's go up to an A. So it's a perfect opportunity to help your grade, but it is also an opportunity to drastically lower your grade if you don't do it. Yes? So would this project like count as like the final? This is gonna be the final, basically. How much, like, well, how much is like it like worth for It'll be worth 20%. Oh. 20%, good question. So, there are a couple of different pages to this, and I wanted to just kind of walk you through them. Number one, your schedule is on page one. Now, I need the schedule because when I hear a project, I almost always immediately tune out, and I just wait to hear for the due date. Because I'm one of those people that, like, we just do a little bit every day and get it done. I've given you a schedule for how I would recommend doing it so you don't get behind the eight ball. That's the first page. So as you guys can see today, your job is to choose a topic, okay? It could be any topic. It could be something that you're very passionate about. It could be something you're very ignorant about. It could be something that you've already done for a Friday student news, and it could already be a topic that we've covered. So if you're super passionate on immigration, or you just really like to do drugs. I probably shouldn't have put that on the YouTube video. If you really like to discuss the legalization and decriminalization of drugs, you could do that. <laughs> Additionally, if there are some topics that we have not covered this semester and you are passionate about, like we haven't gotten to abortion yet, I'd like to do a week on racism. Like there are some other ones that we should probably get to, but we haven't gotten to yet. You can do those. That's your task today. Choose a topic, something you're interested in. Number two, you need to find a news story about your topic. So you guys are gonna turn in your Friday Student News in just a second. You guys need to find a news story about your topic. Could be print media, could be audio, could be visual. It's completely up to you. But the main thing that you gotta get done today is create a Google form. And I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Google form is the thing that we always do on Monday, okay? Some questions that I ask you, get your opinions on the topic. You guys are gonna be making your own Google form about your topic, and then you guys are gonna be giving these Google forms to your peers, okay? That's kind of the big takeaway. You have to get the Google form done because you have to collect data to create your project. Okay, a lot of people miss that. Like, oh, I'll wait three or four days to do my Google form. You're not gonna have any research. You need to have some research to do your topic. So the Google form is day one. Let's take a look at day two, Tuesday. You're gonna collect and analyze your Google form data. So today, I need you to send me the link to your Google form. And I'll show you guys how to make one in just a second. It doesn't take very long. You guys need to make your Google form. You're gonna give me the link. I'm gonna post all of the links on the Canvas page, and then you guys can go through and take each other's Google Forms so that you can all have your data, okay? So day two, you're gonna collect and analyze your Google Form data. Next, you need to find two conflicting perspectives, okay? And one of them could match up with your own personal beliefs. But let's say, let's say you go with, uh, I don't know, 
what, what's one that we've talked about this semester that would be kind of controversial? Abortion. Abortion, okay? You need to find a perspective that says, you know, pro-life is the way to go, killing babies is evil, and then you also need to get a perspective that says, uh, no, uh, pro-choice is the way to go, and there aren't babies yet. Okay, so those are your two conflicting opinions. Your opinion can be one of those. Okay? So you're going to find two conflicting opinions. Wednesday and Thursday, this is the big day for us. That's why I highlighted it in red. You're going to formulate your own opinion on the topic, and I'm going to provide you guys with some iMovie training. Now, I will screen capture the iMovie training and save it and upload it to Canvas for you. That way, if for some reason you miss the long day, you're not behind the eight ball trying to get your iMovie training done. Okay? So your iMovie training, I said, if you don't know how to use iMovie, please be here on Wednesday. Okay? Please be here on Wednesday, or you're going to have to go back and watch the video. Friday, take a look at Friday, you're going to begin writing your script. Okay? And your script can literally be word for word verbatim what you're going to present. Okay? I'm not going to make you guys stand in front of class and give a presentation. You're going to submit a video to me of your presentation. And that's why being here on Wednesday is so important. I would write out exactly what you want to say. It's really cool because if you have your script right on your screen, your camera is right at the top. So you can literally be staring at the screen like it is a teleprompter nobody's going to be able to know the difference because your screen and your camera are right there. So having your script is essential to this project. You don't want to just wing it when you actually go to make your recording. Okay? Now, here's the catch. Maybe put a star next to Saturday and Sunday. Okay? I would do your video recording at home. At home at Starbucks, I don't know, wherever you do your homework, I would do your video recording at home. Why? Because if we come here on Monday and you guys have to record your video, I'm gonna have to send you to a room in a building that doesn't have anybody, because you're gonna get all this like ambient noise, right? Opening and shutting of doors, cell phones ringing, that kind of stuff. So I'm making this suggestion that you do it at home. You do not have to do it at home. We might be able to send you to the library or find somebody's room, but I can guarantee you one thing. If everybody shows up on Monday and needs to record their video, we're probably not going to be able to find a spot for you guys all to go at the same time. So I would record it at home over the weekend. Look at what Monday and Tuesday are devoted to. Has anybody made a video project before? The editing is the long part. It really is. And I'm going to give you guys some tips and pointers on how to record it the right way to begin with so you don't have to do a bunch of copying, pasting of video clips. But the editing is the hardest part. So when you start putting in your data and showing us your results, you start putting in pictures and maybe even a video clip in your, your program, the editing is what takes so long. So that's why I've given you guys next Monday and Tuesday to get the editing done. Now, I feel bad for saying this, probably should have peaked before class started, but I don't know if we have an AAA week next week or what. I'm not exactly sure how the week is going, but regardless of the schedule, okay, you guys can still all submit that to me on the long day. Okay, yes? Next week, we only got Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. So this Wednesday, Thursday, you guys can upload it and send it to me. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a Google Doc upload. So hopefully, by the end of class on Tuesday, you guys will be done with all your video and audio. Okay? If you want to submit it to me then, Byron, so you don't forget about it, great. Okay? But I'm going to have it due on that, what would be the long day. Does that make sense? So several different parts. This schedule is going to keep you on track. When we come back from lunch, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Google form if you've never done one before. What I would do is open up the packet and start taking a peek at the steps. 
So I've literally written this out step by step for you and what the expectations are. So let's look at the Google form, step one. Google form, step one. You're going to create a Google form to pull your classmates about a particular topic. Okay? It says your Google form must have five yes or no questions, okay? one rating scale question, and one short answer question. If you want more questions, you may have them. You have to have seven. Okay? Five yes or no, one rating scale, and then one short answer. Start general and broad, and then get more specific. If you're going to do abortion, please do not write out your first question saying, at what point in the pregnancy does the fetus become the, the, a baby? Okay, start really broad, right? What is abortion? Or do you support abortion? Or do you support late-term abortion? Start more broad, then get more specific. Okay, you're gonna email me a copy of that form. I'm gonna change this, so mark this out. Okay, email me a copy of that form by class on Tuesday. It says Monday by midnight, but I'm gonna give you guys till class till Tuesday. Okay, to email me that form. I'll show you how you can share it with me. It's no big deal. The reason why is because on Tuesday, your peers need to take your survey. So if I don't have your form, all right, your peers aren't going to be able to take your survey, which means you're not going to have your data. As long as you get that to me by class on Tuesday, I can copy and paste all those forms into a Canvas assignment. You guys can go through and tick those off. For the overall projects, students must cite the research data collected and use it in their iMovie to validate or invalidate one of the two perspectives that is presented. Students will need to cite the student data that was collected at the end of the movie. And that can be something as simple as, here's the link to my iMovie, student collected data, that's all you gotta do. It doesn't have to be like MLA format or anything like that. Show me where you got your data. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, so Matt, you can go ahead and stop.